Have you ever wondered why certain memories stick while others fade away? Why do we remember the lyrics of a song we haven't heard in years, but often forget where we placed our keys? What if we told you that memory is not just a repository of our past, but a tool that shapes our present and future? And what if we could improve our memory by taking cues from an unexpected source, the Holy Bible? Intriguing, isn't it? Memory, as cognitive neuroscientist Charan Ranganath puts it, turns the human brain from a memorizing machine into a thinking machine. Just like a computer, our brain processes and stores information. But unlike a computer, our memory is not just a database, it's a storyteller, weaving together bits and pieces of our experiences into a coherent narrative of who we are. Take, for instance, the words from the Book of Numbers, chapter 15, verses 38 and 39. The verses speak of a commandment from God to the children of Israel, instructing them to wear fringes on their garments with a blue cord. An odd commandment to our modern mind, isn't it? Yet this commandment was given as a reminder of God's laws. The fringes were to serve as a physical symbol, a memory boost, to help the people remember and obey all of God's commandments. This idea of using physical symbols to enhance memory is not just a biblical concept, it's a technique used in memory training today, known as the method of loci or the memory palace technique. By associating information with physical locations or objects, we can remember more and better. But why is memory so important? Well, consider the words of Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 17 to 19. Jesus underscores the importance of remembering and obeying God's commandments as the path to eternal life. Similarly, in the Epistle to the Romans, chapter 13, verse 9, Apostle Paul reiterates the importance of remembering and living by these commandments, summarizing them as, love your neighbor as yourself. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8, we are instructed to meditate on God's law day and night, reminding us again of the significance of memory in our spiritual journey. So how do we differentiate between good and evil? Who makes this distinction for us? It is our memory in conjunction with our moral compass that guides us. Our memory holds the lessons of our past, the values we've been taught and the wisdom we've acquired. It helps us make decisions, choose paths and forge our futures. In conclusion, memory is not just a function of the brain. It's a vital aspect of our identity, our spirituality and our morality. It shapes how we perceive the world, how we interact with others and ultimately how we live our lives. As we've explored today, the Bible provides us with valuable insights into the power of memory and how we can harness it to live more fulfilling and meaningful lives. So the next time you forget where you placed your keys, think about the fringes and the blue cord. Maybe, just maybe, you'll find a way to remember better and live better.